In a previous video, I was talking about archive.org and their Wayback Machine where they archive websites and you can go back to certain dates and see what pages look like, websites look like on those dates. And I showed you how to get them to make an archive of your current site. Uh, it's just, you know, good thing to have these backups, you know, to remember how the internet was uh, as we move forward in time. Um, but it's not the only site that does archiving. There's other ones out there. And here's another example, archive.is, archive.is. Uh, and here you can um, search and also uh, make archives or snapshots of your website. So again, for example, I can go filmsbychris.com. And well, before we make an archive, let's go ahead and search my page. And you can see different dates. They don't go back as far as archive.org. Archive.org's been doing it for a long time. But I come in here, I can see archives they've made. I actually just today made a archive of my homepage and my scripts page. Um, but here I can see all the archives for my uh, my domain. And um, of course, I can also you know create archives. So like for example. Um, I can go back to the main page here and if I've just made some changes to my website or if there's a maybe a page on my site that isn't linked on the home page and I want to get that archived for example I could do uh, well I've already done it today but I can go scripts they didn't have an archive of my scripts page I can click save and save that so and let's just go ahead and actually do that let's go ahead and save that it, you'll see here that it does start archiving it, you know, it starts crawling that page and pulls down everything that is linked to that page so that we can get an archive of that. And once it gets that, it will generate an archive and show us it. So this is just another option. Here is what it looked like. Oh, I got an error on that page uh, because <laughs> uh, um, the link I meant to archive was filmsbychris.com forward slash scripts with an S. I missed the S and so they archived my error page. Uh, my 404 error page with the picture of my daughter, which is a good thing. You know what? 10 years from now, 20 years from now, I might want to see this. So it's a good thing that I got this archived. So uh, that's it. Uh, I thank you for watching. Again, this is just another option. I hope you, um, you know, it doesn't have to be your site. It could be someone else's site, a site that you like, that you want to archive for future reference. You come here, search, you know, see if it exists, if they have current archives. If not, type in the page. Let them archive it. Of course, you can always make your own archives with wget or something like that. Um, but it does not hurt to have online backups that other people can search through as well. And this is just one other option for doing that. I thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.